Hey everybody, wanted to jump in real quick with a little rice and advice for an oddity we got called out to look at. A little something out of the ordinary and the quickest way to give everybody a visual and hopefully some explanation should you encounter this in your field. So right behind me is the odd looking spot and we're gonna spin around and have a little better look at what's going on. So right off the bat, you can see the rice in this area definitely has a problem. Let's get in here a little bit closer, have a look at what all is going on. And the best way I can describe it is this rice pretty much looks like a crispy critter. You can see some regrowth on some of the plants. Uh, some look a lot healthier. They're not unaffected. If you take a quick look in, you still see uh, the problem on them as well. And obviously it's kind of a very odd shape pattern, but it's all contained within this levee area here. Doesn't really move beyond it. And the best explanation, at least at this point, and with this irregular pattern, is we're looking at the result of a lightning strike in a rice field. So this really wandering irregular pattern and how it changes in severity, uh, that can, can really be explained by the lightning hitting it when the water is on the field. So a lot of the time when a lightning strike happens in a, in a rice field, at least anyway, when there's not water on it, you get this kind of, you know, a halo, more of a circular appearance uh, overall to the affected area. And right there in the center, you can find just, you know, it's maybe a one or two foot, you know, small circle that just looks like a burnt little, little hay filled spot in the middle, kind of a bullseye where that lightning strike would have hit and more of a, you know, circular pattern, it just radiating out. But if it happens where it hits actual standing water, there's not really any telling which direction it's gonna go and certainly flood depth and a lot of other factors are gonna change the impact on the rice and everything surrounding it. So uh, again, really just one of those oddities, but you're with the amount of lightning that we've had over the past couple of weeks out there uh, in the rice grown part of the world, not gonna be surprising to find some more of these and oddities. Just for the sake of meanness, we're certainly going to take and evaluate some of these samples and see if there's anything else going on, uh, just to absolutely rule anything else out. But when you take that quick look and just the overall appearance of, of just how burned some of these plants are, and really top down, you see that tip burn effect all the way burnt down and out. That's going to give us a pretty good indication uh, of something like a lightning strike that's going to happen that's going to be very strange and very different from a lot of the other things we might worry about actually affecting our rice. So that's today's short and sweet bit of rice and advice. Hopefully you don't really encounter any lightning strikes in your rice fields, but uh, hopefully if you catch this, next time you see that odd spot in the field and step out into it, uh, it certainly could be one of these. If still in doubt, feel free to give me, one of the other specialists, or your local county agent a call. See you next time on Rice and Advice. Have a rice day.